Hi, everyone. This is Yan. Today, I'm going to teach everyone the tenses in Chinese. The basic structure is the present tense. In the tenses, we use the verb, we call it as the verb base. Let's see some example of what this verb base is. So, example to do in English. In Chinese, is 做, 做 means to do. Another example, to go, 去, 去 means to go. So, these two verbs based structure is mainly using in the present tense format. Let's look at one example here. I do homework. I as a 我, 我, do. We already learned it to do. 做, 做, 做. And homework is 作业, 作业. So, I do homework. This sentence in Chinese will be 我做作业. Okay? Let's look at another example. So, in this case, I go to do homework. And here, we have two verb base here. But in Chinese, the verb base, we can just put them together without adding anything. Let's say in English, we add the two to infinity here. But in Chinese, no. Very simple. We just put them all together. So, I go to do homework. In Chinese, it's 我去做作业. 我去做作业. Basically, it's I go do homework. So, very simple. Now, let's see the present continuous tense. In Chinese, present continuous tense, we still using the basic one, the verb base. But we have to add some additional word to make it into continuous tense format. This 正在, 正在. This actually means in process of doing something. So we use this one to imply the continuous tense. So let's see one example here. I am doing Homework. 我正在做. I am doing. 作业. 我正在做. 作业. I am doing homework. Alright, let's see another example here. I am eating noodles. 我正在吃面条. 吃 is the for base to eat. 正在 make it into a continuous tense format. 我正在吃面条 means I am eating noodles. But usually when we say the present continuous tense, 正在, we usually shorten it into 在. So we just use 在 plus the verb base. Let's see here. I am doing homework. We can actually say it in Chinese in 我在做作业. 我在做作业. We omit the 正. And then this one, same. You take out the 正 here. I am eating noodles. 我在吃 面条我在吃面条 Okay, very simple. Remember, we always use the verb base for simple tense, the present tense. But for the continuous tense or perfect tense or past tense, future tense, we just need to add an additional word with the verb base. The next tenses we're gonna learn is the simple past tense. So. In simple past tense, we use the verb base plus l, l. This one is a neutral tone, so end it fast and quick. So look at one example here. I ate dinner. 我吃了晚饭. 我吃了晚饭. Okay, very simple. Eat. We change it into a past tense format. Verb base plus l. 
Third base to eat. Chi plus le means eat. 我吃了晚饭 I want to introduce you is the perfect tense. Perfect tense is kind of in between like present tense and the past tense. So in perfect tense, we use we still using the verb base format plus 过过 It's more like in English like do did done. The done is the verb base plus the 过 in Chinese. So usually in perfect tenses. We can tell by using already. 已经已经 this verb. So I already have seen this movie. So it's more like I have already seen this movie in English. But in Chinese, to make it easier, so I take the already out here. 我已经看过这个 this. 电影，我已经看过这个电影。So pretty simple. We just need the verb base plus the 过 to make it into perfect tense. Right, coming to the future tense. In future tense, we have two different formats to expressing in future tense in Chinese. The first one, the simple one, is 会 plus the verb base. And versus the other format is yeah plus the verb base. Uh, usually, if we just talking about a simple future tense, we use the hui plus the verb base, which is uh, not certain, but you just think you will do it. You will do something, but the yao is like you have the needs to do something. You are going to do something. It's certain. This one you can take take it like an uncertain format, and this one is certain format. So let's going to look at some example here. I will do homework. So, 我会做作业。我会做作业 means I will do homework. The other example is. I have to do homework, which you have the needs to do homework. You are certainly gonna do homework. 我要做作业。我要做作业。So these two different examples is the future tense, but you have different like situation. For the will do is not certain. But have to do is certainly gonna do something. Now let's see some example in between the present tense versus the future tense. There's、uh, some differences in between these two tenses. For the present tense, we have this kind of format: 就 plus the verb base versus the future tense: 要 plus the verb base. Let's see one example here. When we use the 就 plus the verb base, which is based on the present tense, I am going to do homework. In this example, you certainly gonna do homework. So it's the present tense format. I am going to. 我就去 As you see here, 就去 the 就 plus the verb base. 我就去做作业，我就去做作业。Okay, so this one is the present tense format, and then the next one, I have to go to do homework, which is referring to the future tense. Ya plus verb base. As you see here in the English translation, actually it means I have to do homework. But because in Chinese we have the to go in the sentences in Chinese, so I put it here. 我要去做作业。我要去做作业。And this one is the future tenses. So be careful when you use the 就 plus verb base and the 要 plus verb base. 
is based on the two different tenses. One, the jiu is the present tense. The yao is the future tense. So be careful when you use that. Okay?